हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ दीपिका प्रजापति फ्रॉम कंप्यूटर डिपार्टमेंट एंड लेट स्टार्ट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन विथ इट आंसर फॉर द जी टी यू एग्जाम सो हियर अवर सब्जेक्ट इज एन एम ए नेटवर्क मैनेजमेंट एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एंड अवर सब्जेक्ट कोड थ्री थ्री सिक्स जीरो सेवन जीरो थ्री सो ऑन दिस सैटरडे थर्टीन मार्च टू थाउजेंड टेस्ट वन कंडक्ट फॉर द सब्जेक्ट एन एम ए सो हियर आई हैव टू प्रेजेंट दिस क्वेश्चन विथ इट्स आंसर हैविंग टू मार्क्स एंड थ्री मार्क्स एंड फोर मार्क क्वेश्चन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज लिस्ट एनी टू सर्वर्स सो द आंसर ऑफ द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज प्रॉक्सी सर्वर सेकेंड फाइल सर्वर थर्ड प्रिंटर सर्वर फोर मेल सर्वर फाइव सर्वर प्लेटफॉर्म सिक्स वेब सर्वर सेवन रियल टाइम कम्युनिकेशन सर्वर एंड एट फाइल ट्रांसफर इट मीन्स एफ टी पी सर्वर सो डियर ऑल स्टूडेंट दिस क्वेश्चन आस्कड इन जी टी यू एग्जाम हैविंग टू मार्क्स वंस अगेन रिवाइज दिस क्वेश्चन दैट इज़ वेरी मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर द जी टी यू एग्जाम एंड दिस क्वेश्चन अगेन एंड अगेन आस्कड इन जी टी यू एग्जाम हैविंग टू मार्क्स सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज लिस्ट आउट एनी टू सर्वर्स दैन यू हैव टू राइट डाउन प्रॉक्सी सर्वर फाइल सर्वर प्रिंटर सर्वर मेल सर्वर सर्वर प्लेटफॉर्म वेब सर्वर रियल टाइम कम्युनिकेशन सर्वर एंड एट नंबर एफ टी पी दैट मीन्स फाइल ट्रांसफर प्रोटोकॉल सर्वर सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज दैट एक्सप्लेन नेटवर्क नीड्स सो हियर द आंसर ऑफ फॉलोइंग दिस क्वेश्चन इज सो द फॉलोइंग आर द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट यूज इज एंड बेनिफिट्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क इज फर्स्ट ऑफ फाइल शेयरिंग सेकेंड हार्डवेयर शेयरिंग थर्ड यूजर कम्युनिकेशन नेटवर्क गेमिंग वॉइस ओवर आई पी वी ओ आई पी एंड डेटा सिक्योरिटी दिस क्वेश्चन आस्ड इन जी टी यू एग्जाम हैविंग टू मार्क्स सो वंस अगेन रिवाइज दिस एक्सप्लेन नेटवर्क नीड्स सो यू हैव टू राइट डाउन द फॉलोइंग्स आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट यूज इज एंड बेनिफिट्स ऑफ द कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क इज फाइल शेयरिंग हार्डवेयर शेयरिंग यूजर कम्युनिकेशन नेटवर्क प्रिंटिंग एज वेल एज नेटवर्क गेमिंग वॉइस ओवर आई पी वी ओ आई पी एंड डेटा सिक्योरिटी थर्ड क्वेश्चन डिफाइन आर ए आर पी मॉडल एज वेल एज आर ए आर पी प्रोटोकॉल सो आर ए आर पी स्टैंड फॉर रिवर्स एड्रेस रिजोल्यूशन प्रोटोकॉल सो वॉट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ आर ए आर पी सो आर ए आर पी स्टैंड फॉर रिवर्स एड्रेस रिजोल्यूशन प्रोटोकॉल so it is an obsolete computer networking protocol used by client computer and this client computer request its internet protocol version 4 address from a computer network when all it has available its link layer or hardware address such as a like media access control address mac stands for media access control address so what is the answer of rarp so rarp is nothing but one type of obsolete computer networking protocol and that is used by any client and this client request to internet protocol address from a computer network and such like this network when all it has available link layer or hardware address and such like a hardware address is mac address that is media access control address then next question number 4 what is server list the different types of server so we have uh, sorry we are already discussed different types of server because uh, here our first question is uh, explain types of server so we are already discussed in this question c list any two server proxy file printer mail server platform web server real time communication server and ftp server now in this question we are going to discuss about what is server and list the different types of server so what is server in computing a server is a computer program or a device that provides functionality for other programs or device called clients 
दिस आर्किटेक्चर इज कॉल्ड द क्लाइंट सर्वर मॉडल एंड सिंगल ओवरऑल कंप्यूटेशन इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड अक्रॉस मल्टीपल प्रोसेसिस और डिवाइसेस सो दैट इज नोन एज सर्वर डेफिनेशन सो वंस अगेन व्हाट इज सर्वर सर्वर इज नथिंग बट इन अ कंप्यूटिंग सिस्टम it is a pro computer program or a device that provide a functionality for other program and that is called as a clients and this architecture is called client server model and a single overall computation is distributed across multiple processes or devices and here one is a different types of server there so first of all proxy server mail server file server printer server server platforms web server application server real time communication server and ftp server uh, question number 5 explain directory service so this are uh, all question asked in g2 exam having two marks so here once again directory service explain also asked in g2 exam having two marks so what is the answer of explain directory service so explain directory service is nothing but it refers to the collection of software hardware and processes that store information about an enterprise subscribers or both and make that information available to user for example dns so dns is nothing but domain name system so what is domain name system dns so uh, in a real time example uh, for example dot com dot net then dot uh, org dot edu that is nothing but our domain so dot com is a commercial edu is a educational org is our organizational dot goe is our governmental domain so this all are nothing but one type of directory services and that is refers to the collection of software hardware and processes that store information about our enterprise subscriber and both and that is make one kind of information available to user and it is known as our directory services so these all five question asked in g2 exam again and again having a two marks so kindly focus on this question answer okay next uh, here this question uh, explain isdn so this question asked in g2 exam having a three marks either four marks so isdn stands for integrated service digital network once again the full form most important for a g2 exam of the isdn so isdn stands for integrated services digital network so an international standard for switch digital dial up telephone services otherwise vice versa for the voice and data that is most important thing of isdn once again integrated service digital network provide a standard switch dial up system telephone services for vice versa voice and data second analog telephone and fax machines are used over these isdn lines but their signals are converted into digitally by isdn terminal adapter so whenever analog telephone and fax machine used this isdn line then this all analog signals are converted in digital by isdn terminal adapter so here one is the two types of channel used in isdn so here uh, first channel for the use isdn is uh, bri and pri bri is nothing but our uh, basic rate interface and pri is nothing but our primary rate interface so first of all here channel isdn use 64 kbps b stands for barrier channel and uh, this channel carry out voice and data and it is separately delta channel is used for the controlling voice and data so the d channel signals the carrier's voice switch to make calls put them on hold and active features such as conference calling and call forwarding so whenever dear all student as we know uh, we call to another person and the another person is very busy then you have to put on your call hold otherwise you uh, 
calling another person at a time more than one then you have to require conferencing calling call forwarding to this all system features provided by d channel signal and that is conducted in isdn integrated service digital network so here the uh, figure diagram of this isdn ch channel so here this is our ethernet isdn router ethernet hub isdn line and our telco uh, service system so first of all channel bri basic service it means basic rate interface and that is used for one uh, one wire pair to carry 264 kbps b channel and 160 kbps d channel it means here use uh, b channel uh, 264 and d channel 116 kbps so we can say 2b plus d 2b means 64 kbps used to b channel and 116 kbps used d channel for bri so both b channel are often bonded in one and providing total data rate of 1 128 kbps then second pri higher capacity so pri stands for primary rate interface and that is used for wire here c in bri use one wire and here pri use four wire pair so provide 23 b channel and 164 kbps d channel so we can say as 23 b plus d why because here b channel used as a 23 and d channel used as a 64 kbps one okay that's why we call 23 b plus d for pri primary rate interface so a pri line is equivalent to a 24 channel t1 line so bonding channel is common for example six channels provide 384 kbps for high quality video conferencing so whenever we call with video to another person then six channel provide 384 kbps speed with pri line signal okay then second question what is ios discuss different ios management command so what is ios io is nothing but internet operating system ios stands for internet operating system so internet operating system is our family software used for on most cisco packet tracer router and current cisco network switches so how to configure this all ios command so here one is a basically cli command cli is nothing but it stands for command line interface cli so first of all you have to use enable router command disable router command end command and logout command so how to use a enable router command so first of all you open a cisco packet tracer software first of all you have to open cisco packet tracer software then uh, you have to click on desktop line of the system then uh, basic control sorry basic command line interface command you have to write first of all for the enable router so here one is enable router syntax is router then angular bracket enable then given the password and whenever you disable router then you have to write router has so to exit privilege ex ec mode and return to user exc e sorry ex ec mode then exit to our lower privilege level and then enter disable our execute command okay exec is nothing but our execute command then end command so end command is used for current configuration session and return to our first session that is known as a privilege execute mode and use the end global configuration command here one is logout command so logout command is uh, first of all use a setting up password and configure password for console access 
सो गिव द होस्ट नेम देन कॉन्सोल जीरो गिव द होस्ट नेम विथ पासवर्ड एंड देन आफ्टर लॉग इन ओके देन कन्फिगर पासवर्ड फॉर अ टेलनेट एक्सेस सो बाय डिफॉल्ट टेलनेट एक्सेस इज डिसेबल्ड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू नीड अनेबल दिस टेलनेट सो बाय डिफॉल्ट अवर टेलनेट एक्सेस इज डिसेबल्ड सो यू नीड टू अनेबल इट एंड दिस इज डन बाय यूजिंग दिस फॉलोइंग सिक्वेंस ऑफ कमांड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू राइट होस्ट नेम कन्फिग लाइन वी टी वाई इन अवर सिस्को पैकेट ट्रीजर सॉफ्टवेयर देन गिव द होस्ट नेम कॉन्फिग लाइन देन गिव द पासवर्ड एंड देन गिव द होस्ट नेम एंड आफ्टर लॉग इन क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री एक्सप्लेन वी पी एन प्रोटोकॉल एंड दैट इज वेरी मोस्ट आई एम पी टॉपिक फॉर द जी टी एग्जाम हैविंग थ्री मार्क्स आई द फोर मार्क्स सो वॉट इज वी पी एन वी पी एन स्टैंड फॉर वर्चुअल प्राइवेट नेटवर्क एंड दैट इज वे ऑफ क्रिएटिंग सिक्योर कनेक्शन टू एंड फ्रॉम नेटवर्क और कंप्यूटर सो वट इज टू एंड फ्रॉम सो टू एंड फ्रॉम इज नथिंग बट क्लाइंट एंड सर्वर वेन एवर एनी क्लाइंट रिक्वेस्ट टू सर्वर एंड सर्वर दिज रीड ऑल द रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम द क्लाइंट एंड गिव द रिस्पॉन्स टू द क्लाइंट एंड दैट इज कनेक्शन क्रिएटिंग विथ अवर वी पी एन दैट इज अवर वी पी एन कॉन्फिग्रेशन सो वी पी एन स्टैंड फॉर वर्चुअल प्राइवेट नेटवर्क इज अ वे ऑफ क्रिएटिंग अ सिक्योर कनेक्शन टू एंड फ्रॉम अ नेटवर्क और अ कंप्यूटर The VPN uses strong encryption and restricted private data access which keeps the data secure from other user for the underlying network which could often be public network like the internet. Why we used VPN? Because uh, whenever we provide a internet access to another person then no any hacker hack our account so that's why we used VPN. once again whenever we share any internet data with another person as a publicly but whenever our data sharing process is continue for the another person uh, at that time no any hacker hack our account that's why we used vpn because virtual private network is uh, provide a security for authenticated person that means no any unauthorized person used our personally data so vpn have been used for years but they have become a more robust only in recent year so they are a more affordable and also much faster so here one is give the figure of vpn so here this is our first client and here one is our server and whenever this client forward this data to another person so unauthorized host can't be hack our data why because we use our vpn virtual private network virtual private network here this one is all protocol for most important vpn internet protocol security and uh, its short form is uh, internet uh, protocol security as a ipsec l2tp layer 2 tunneling protocol then point to point tunneling protocol and secure socket layer ssl and uh, transport layer security tls and ssh secure cell so these all protocols of vpn is very most imp protocol for the g2 exam so dear all student uh, this all question asked in g2 exam again and again having a two marks either three marks and four marks so kindly be focus study with this all question answer okay so i hope you all easily understand so uh, kindly study this all question with uh, its answer and uh, maximum subscribe like and share this all question answer with your friends who study in uh, diploma engineering computer department semester 6 okay and uh, who student wants to this pdf so kindly check in description box